Henshaw's Knowledge Village. This video is free to watch thanks to the kindness of our donors. If you would like to donate £10 towards our work, you can do so by texting Henshaw's to 70085. Welcome to Henshaw's Knowledge Village, the place to go for excellent information and advice on sight loss. My name is Mark Belcher and I'm the Community Development Manager and today's video is about e-libraries and if you don't know what I'm talking about, stay tuned. The Henshaw's logo zips in, then quickly out of screen. As always, please subscribe, make comments and click on that little bell thing because that will make sure that you don't miss any of our videos. So let's get to the video. So our friends at Trafford Libraries asked me to uh, do a video on BorrowBox. Um, but I'm a resident of East Cheshire, so apologies Trafford for not having your little logo, but it's good for everybody because BorrowBox is all over the UK. Okay, so your local authority should be signed up to BorrowBox. If they're not, give them a bit of a moan. So what is BorrowBox? It's basically access to your library online. We've been playing with it and it's really fantastic. Obviously, it's accessible. It's on Android, it's on Apple, and it's even on Kindle too. So what are e-libraries? E-libraries are an online version of the physical library that you've got in your local authority. It's a fantastic thing that allows you to access books in a digitized way. Um, as you know, libraries are the pinnacle of community learning. Um, but for some people, it's difficult to get to the library. Also, for some people, they don't have a local library. So having the access to books, uh, audio books and ebooks is just a fantastic thing. So I want to introduce you to an app called BorrowBox. You can access audio books and you can access ebooks from the comfort of your own home through various devices. So they're on Android, they're on Apple, and they're also on Kindle. Fact check, what is the oldest library in the world? Well, it's from Fez in Morocco, and it was introduced in 1359. That was ages ago. But let's say in England, what was the oldest public free library in England. Well, it was the Cheetham Library, and it's a stone's throw over there in the great city of Manchester. So there you go, who knew? The Henshaw's logo zips in, then quickly out of screen. So let's get into BorrowBox. Um, before we get into that though, let's just say that there's a lot of other ways you can access books, and we'll go through some of them um, during this kind of quick tutorial. Um, but it's really about how you can access books um, and I just want to introduce you to that app specifically. Um, I'm not going to do it with voiceover on because it just gets way too confusing for the viewers. Um, but every single tag um, is audible so you can actually move around no problem. Um, so it is absolutely accessible. So. Um, the first thing you've got to do really, before we get into it, is join a library. So if you're not already a member of a library, get it done. Um, even if you can't access that library physically, um, you can then access these books. Um, so you need to join a library. Uh, you need a device obviously, so again, Apple, Android, even Kindle allow you to access books for free. Um, once you've done that, it's dead simple to actually activate the app. You just need to choose the library that you're a member of, uh, activate that account, and essentially go and get free books. It works in the same way as a physical library, really. Um, things are on loan, so you have to wait, um, but you can reserve them and you'll get a little reminder letting you know that that book's available, and then you can loan it for a period of time. So the process is exactly the same, but it's online. Um, some might say that some books and not all books are available and that's kind of true. Think about going to the library. That's kind of the experience you're going to get. And I know it's a digital world and you should be able to just grab it. Um, but that's not the case on this app. Um, and that'll be all about the money somewhere. You know, someone somewhere needs to get paid for the access to it. So, um, so I'm not quite sure how many books are available. And I'm going to go through a little exercise to just show you um, how, how that works and where you could go elsewhere. Um, I'm not talking about other 
opportunities, but there are loads. There's Audible, there's In Your Pockets, there's fantastic R&IB service as well. So there's plenty of ways for you to get books. This is just one of them. So let's, uh, I'm gonna get heads down now. I'm gonna actually go through how we do this live. Um, and we'll talk about some of the, the choices you've got and, and basically how it all gets arranged. So here we go. So I'm just gonna uh, get my phone on. So there's BorrowBox, nice little BorrowBox uh, icon. So I'm gonna click on that, okay? And straight up, you get various options. So you've got um, a search box, um, you've got your loans, you can go straight into audiobooks, ebooks, and you can search again with an icon at the bottom. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go to uh, just one of the menus, I suppose, just to show you around a little bit. At the top of the screen, and again, every tag is audible, so you can do this uh, with voiceover and, and other kind of um, voice solutions. At the top, you've got categories, I suppose, all, adult, um, young adult, children. Um, there's some features, categories, genres, and new releases. Um, and you can scroll around. Quite annoyingly, for somebody with visual impairment, the first two layers have that swiping picture scenario, which is it's kind of good for someone that can see okay. It can be quite annoying, and it's always too fast um, for somebody that's got uh, poor vision. So um, I understand why the um, you know the developer has put that in because it's trying to entice us. Um, but for some people, it's uh, it's too fast. For me, it's too fast, and I can see. So you could slow it down a bit. That'd be nice. Um, but essentially, below that, and again, it's using gestures. Um, it gives you an opportunity to have a browse, um, and again, you know, you can you can flick around, and it will tell you, you know, if it's on loan, the name of the author and the name of the book. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get into searching for something, um, and how you do that essentially. So I'm going to click on search, and I'm going to put something that I already know the score to, right? The Hunt for Red October. Fantastic book, if you've ever read it, and a brilliant film too. Uh, the Hunt for Red October. Okay, right, so there you go. Um, at the moment, I know it's available, because it's telling me, and I know it's an ebook. but I want a audio book, because I'm so lazy, and I just kind of read well, I listen to books when I'm in the car, to be honest. So I'm going to go on to ebooks. I already know the answer to this. There isn't one, right? Which is a shame because I wanted the audio book. So unfortunately, the audio book isn't available. But is it actually available? Well, it is, to be honest. So I'm just going to flick out of here and I'm going to go to something called Audible, which is another alternative, which is about a tenner, ten pound uh, UK money. Um, and you can access that book Audible, right, in audio. You could also, I'm going to prove it, you could also pop over to YouTube and you can get the full book, which is, I think, 11 hours of audio uh, for free on YouTube. Who knew, right? Uh, and this one has been, been watched uh, 276,000 times, so it's there for free. My point is this, there's plenty of places you can get material. Some you might have to pay for, some you might not. My point with BorrowBox is it is supporting your local library, okay? And supporting your local library is so important, okay? And that might be in a physical sense or a digital sense as well. So subscribe, get it done, get it on. Right, I'm just gonna go back to BorrowBox. Okay, so um, ebooks. So essentially, it's dead easy to, to, to loan the book. You click on the thing you want, and you get an opportunity at the bottom to either preview it, if you fancy, or borrow it. So I'm gonna borrow it. I'm gonna click on that borrow. I could read now, so I've got it now. It's in my, um, it's in my bin to borrow. Um, and there you go, it's as simple as that. I'm in, I'm on, and I can start reading it. 
Um, it does remind me when I need to uh, unloan it as well. Um, but I think it's fantastic and it's free. So there you go, that's Borrow Box. I hope you liked it. As always, please subscribe because it's important to us. And in the comments, if I've said Cheatham wrong, uh, let me know how you say it because uh, because I'm struggling. So there you go. Oh, and just a quick one. We have actually done a blog on other options available to you to access books. So please give that a look. It's in the description below. Our videos are helping people around the world to go beyond expectations. If you enjoyed this video, please donate to us using the links in the description below or the text donation number 70085 to give £10 instantly. Thank you. For costs and terms, please see the description below.